Opening the door that day, I had no idea I would come face to face with Jake, the muscular neighbor who had always made my heart race a little faster. The sunlight spilled into the hallway, illuminating his striking features and that charming smile that seemed to catch me off guard. Hey there, he said, his voice deep and inviting, sending a shiver down my spine. I stood frozen for a moment, my mind racing back to David, my husband, who was busy at home, blissfully unaware. What were we doing here? It felt like the air thickened with unspoken tension, a current of something dangerous and exhilarating flowing between us. I just... wanted to drop off that package you missed, Jake continued, holding up a small box. Right, I replied, trying to sound casual, but my heart was pounding. Thank you. I could feel his gaze lingering on me, an intensity that made my cheeks flush. I tried to shake the thought of David from my mind, but it clung to me like a heavy weight. Jake took a step closer, and I felt the heat radiating from him. You know, it's been a while since we chatted, he said, his tone teasing. I bit my lip, feeling a mix of excitement and guilt. I glanced back towards the living room, knowing David could walk in at any moment. Yeah, it has, I managed to say, my voice barely above a whisper. What was I doing? My thoughts were a whirlwind, but there was a thrill in the air that I couldn't ignore. I opened the door, expecting to see the usual delivery guy, or perhaps a neighbor needing a cup of sugar. But there stood Jake, my muscular neighbor, with that charming smile that could light up the dullest day. My heart skipped a beat, and I felt a rush of heat flood my cheeks. Hey, I hope I'm not bothering you, he said, his voice smooth and inviting. I shook my head, trying to hide my surprise. No, not at all. What brings you here? I tried to sound casual, but inside, my pulse raced. I glanced back into my living room, where David was engrossed in his work, blissfully unaware of the unexpected visitor at the door. Jake stepped closer, his presence overwhelming and intoxicating. I was just wondering if you wanted to chat for a bit, he said, his eyes locking onto mine. The air was thick with an unspoken tension, a connection that felt both thrilling and terrifying. As he spoke, I could hardly concentrate, my mind racing with the thoughts of David, who was just a few rooms away. What were we doing here? Sure, come in, I finally said, stepping aside to let him enter. The moment he crossed the threshold, my heart raced even faster. We settled into the living room, and I could feel Jake's gaze on me, making it hard to breathe. I tried to shake off the feeling of guilt that crept in at the back of my mind. As we talked, I noticed the way his eyes flickered to my lips, and I found myself mirroring his gaze. There was something electric between us. So, how have you been? He asked, leaning back, his arm casually resting on the back of the sofa. Same old, same old. I replied, forcing a smile. Just keeping busy with work and, you know, life. I could feel my cheeks flush again. Jake chuckled softly, a sound that sent shivers down my spine. Yeah, life can be a bit monotonous sometimes. You deserve a break. His voice was low, almost intimate, and it sent a thrill through me. I tried to focus on the conversation, but found it increasingly difficult. My mind flickered back to David, who always seemed to know when I was distracted. I felt a pang of guilt, but quickly pushed it away. Jake wasn't just a neighbor. He was a distraction from the mundane routine I had found myself in. Then, unexpectedly, Jake reached out and lightly touched my arm. The warmth of his hand sent a jolt through me, and I could hardly suppress a gasp. You okay? He asked concern etched across his face, though I could see the hint of mischief in his eyes. I nodded, my voice barely a whisper. Yeah, just surprised, I guess. He leaned in closer, and I could smell his cologne, something fresh and earthy. It was intoxicating. I felt my heart racing again, 
and laughter bubbled up between us nervously. I didn't mean to catch you off guard, he said, a teasing smile playing on his lips. No, it's just, you know, it's been a while since I had someone over. I could feel the tension building between us, thick and palpable. Jake's gaze lingered on my lips, and I could feel my breath hitch. Maybe I should come around more often then, he said, his voice dropping to a whisper. I felt a flutter in my stomach, a mix of excitement and fear. My mind raced. Should I invite him in? The thought sent shivers of guilt and thrill through me. Would you like a glass of water? I asked, the words tumbling out before I could stop myself. His smile widened, and I could see the interest sparking in his eyes. Sure, I'd love that. As I walked towards the kitchen, I could feel his gaze on me, sending butterflies swirling in my stomach. I poured a glass of water, trying to steady my nerves. The memories of David seemed to fade into the background, overshadowed by the undeniable chemistry brewing between Jake and me. I returned to the living room, handing him the glass. Our fingers brushed, and I could feel the heat of his skin against mine. Thanks, he said, taking a sip and not breaking eye contact. There was something in his gaze that made me forget everything else. We continued to talk, the conversation flowing easily, but each fleeting glance and casual touch became more charged. I could sense the tension building, and it made my heart race. I couldn't help but wonder what this was all leading to. The thought of David lingered in the back of my mind, but Jake's presence made it feel distant, almost irrelevant. Do you ever feel like you need to break free from everything? Jake asked suddenly, his voice low. I hesitated, the weight of his question hanging in the air. Sometimes, I admitted, feeling exposed. He leaned closer, his eyes searching mine. I think everyone does, in their own way. I swallowed hard, the silence stretching between us, filled with unspoken words. I could feel the pull between us, an undeniable urge that made it hard to think straight. As I sat there, my heart racing, I knew I was on the edge of something dangerous. The thrill of the unknown, mixed with the guilt of what I was risking, sent adrenaline coursing through me. I wanted to lean into that feeling, to explore the connection that was growing stronger with every glance and every touch. But the reminder of David lingered in my mind, a shadow I couldn't quite shake off. I stood in front of the door, my heart racing for reasons I couldn't quite understand. Maybe it was the unexpected knock that pulled me from my routine, or perhaps it was the slight chill in the air that sent shivers down my spine. When I opened the door and saw Jake, my muscular neighbor, I felt a rush of surprise wash over me. He stood there, his tousled hair framing a face that was both boyish and undeniably attractive. Hey there, he said, his voice deep and smooth, sending a flutter through me. Hi, Jake, I replied, trying to sound casual, though my pulse quickened. I hadn't expected to see him today. I had been lost in my own thoughts, thinking about David, my husband, who was somewhere in the house, blissfully unaware of this moment. Just thought I'd check in on you. You know, it's been a while since we had a proper chat. His smile was warm, and I felt my cheeks heat up. The tension in the air was palpable, almost electric. We both stood there for a moment, the world around us fading into the background. Yeah, it has been, I said, forcing a smile. My mind flashed to David, who was probably in his office, focused on work. The question hung in the air, unspoken, but heavy. What are we doing here? I swallowed hard, trying to shake off the feeling of guilt creeping in. Do you want to come in for a bit? The words slipped from my lips before I could stop myself. It was impulsive, a reckless decision that surprised even me. Jake's eyes sparkled with interest, and I felt a thrill run through me. I'd love to, he said, stepping over the threshold. As he entered my home, I felt a strange mix of excitement and dread. I led him to the living room, 
where the soft light from the lamp created an intimate atmosphere. Nice place you've got here, he commented, glancing around. Very inviting. Thanks, I replied, suddenly self-conscious. I could feel the chemistry between us growing, an invisible thread pulling us closer together. I didn't want to think about David, but his absence was a shadow in my mind. Jake settled on the couch, and I took a seat across from him, trying to maintain some distance. So, what have you been up to? I asked, trying to keep the conversation light. Just the usual, work, gym, and the occasional Netflix binge, he said, chuckling. But honestly, I've been meaning to ask you about that book club you mentioned. I could use some recommendations. As we talked, the initial tension began to ease, replaced by a growing sense of intimacy. Our eyes met frequently, and with each shared laugh, I felt a connection deepening. It was dangerous, yet thrilling. Then, in a moment that seemed to stretch on forever, Jake reached out and lightly touched my arm. The warmth of his hand sent a jolt through me. I've always thought you were really interesting, he said, his gaze locked onto mine. I felt my heart skip a beat. Really? I asked, my voice barely above a whisper. Yeah, really. There's something about you that draws me in, he replied his sincerity wrapping around me like a warm blanket. My pulse raced, and I nervously laughed, unsure of how to respond. Suddenly, the memories of my life with David began to flicker in my mind. His laughter, the warmth of his embrace, the way he made me feel safe. But those thoughts started to fade, overshadowed by the undeniable chemistry that was building in the room. Would you like something to drink? I asked my voice steady despite the whirlwind of emotions inside me. Sure, a glass of water would be great, he replied, flashing that charming smile. I stood up, feeling a flutter of nerves as I moved to the kitchen. As I filled two glasses, I couldn't shake the feeling that something was shifting between us. Returning to the living room, I handed Jake his glass and our fingers brushed. The moment felt charged, electrifying, I could see the desire in his eyes, a reflection of the turmoil inside me. I've really missed talking to you, he said, his voice low and sincere. I have too, I admitted, my heart racing. It's nice to connect with someone outside of everything. Jake leaned in slightly, his expression serious. Sometimes we just need to break away from our routines, you know? I nodded, feeling the weight of his words. The atmosphere in the room had shifted, becoming thicker with unspoken possibilities. I could feel the walls of my life crumbling, the memories of David slipping further away as Jake's presence filled the space. Do you think we should... He started, his voice trailing off as he looked at me, searching for permission. I held his gaze, my breath caught in my throat. The world outside had faded, and in that moment, nothing else mattered but the two of us. The thrill of the unknown pulled me in, and I was helpless against it. Maybe we should, I finally whispered, the words tasting both sweet and forbidden. A part of me knew I was stepping into dangerous territory, but the other part craved this connection, this spark that felt so alive. As we sat there, the chemistry between us undeniable, I knew that everything was about to change. I opened the door, expecting the usual quiet of my afternoon. And instead, there he was, Jake, my muscular neighbor. He stood there, casually leaning against the doorframe, a playful smirk on his face. My heart raced at the sight of him, a mix of surprise and something else that I couldn't quite place. Hey there, he said, his voice smooth like velvet. Hi, Jake, I replied, trying to keep my tone steady. I could feel a sudden rush of heat flooding my cheeks. What was he doing here? As I stepped aside to let him in, I felt an overwhelming sense of nervous excitement. The air felt charged, 
thick with unspoken words. We moved to the living room, and I could hardly focus on anything but his presence. We started talking about the weather, but my thoughts were elsewhere, swirling around the image of my husband, David, who was just a room away. I quickly pushed the thought aside. What was I doing? I shouldn't feel this way. Nice place you have, Jake said, glancing around. I noticed the way his eyes lingered on me, and I caught myself biting my lip. Thanks. It's nothing special, I replied, my voice barely above a whisper. The tension hung between us like a thick fog, and I could feel my heart pounding in my chest. We exchanged small talk, but with each passing moment, I felt a pull towards him, as if an invisible thread connected us. Our eyes met, and I saw something there. An invitation. A challenge. I could hardly breathe, and I was painfully aware of the distance between us, which felt like miles. Then, unexpectedly, he reached out and lightly touched my arm. The spark of his fingertips sent a jolt through me, igniting something I thought I had buried. I laughed nervously, trying to break the tension. You always stop by for a chat? Only when I have a reason to, he replied, his gaze intense. The air was thick with anticipation, and I felt a flutter of excitement mixed with guilt. Should I invite him in? Would it be crossing a line? My mind raced back to David, who was probably watching TV, oblivious to this moment unfolding right under his nose. Want a glass of water? I asked, almost impulsively. Sure, Jake said, his smile widening. As I walked towards the kitchen, I felt his eyes on me, the weight of his gaze making my skin tingle. I filled a glass and turned around, finding him standing closer than before. The room felt smaller, our conversation shifting from casual to charged. I handed him the glass, and our fingers brushed. I froze, staring into his eyes, searching for a sign of what was happening between us. There was an undeniable chemistry, a magnetic pull that was impossible to ignore. Do you ever feel like you're missing out? He asked suddenly, his voice low and inviting. I blinked, caught off guard by the question. Missing out? On what? On life. On everything. He stepped closer, the intensity in his eyes consuming me. Just then, a thought crept into my mind. What am I doing? I should step back, put up a wall. But the moment felt too precious to let go. Before I knew it, we were lost in conversation, our words flowing easily between us. It was as if we had known each other for years. And then, without warning, he leaned in, his lips brushing against mine. The kiss was soft at first, a gentle exploration that sent shockwaves through my body. I felt a mix of shock and exhilaration, a thrill that made my heart race even faster. How could something so wrong feel so right? Wow, I breathed, pulling back slightly, looking into his eyes. I didn't expect that. Neither did I, he admitted, his breath warm against my skin. But I couldn't help myself. I could feel the weight of guilt settling in, but it was drowned out by the excitement coursing through me. In that moment, nothing else mattered. I was captivated by him, by the rush of emotions swirling inside me. Jake, I started, but the words fell away as he leaned in again, capturing my lips with his. This time, the kiss deepened, igniting a fire inside me that I hadn't felt in so long. I lost myself in it, forgetting everything outside this moment. His hands cradled my face, and I could feel the tension dissipating, replaced by something intoxicating and forbidden. I was aware of the consequences lurking in the back of my mind, but in that instant, I didn't care. God, you're beautiful, he murmured against my lips, and I felt a thrill at his words. Jake, I... I tried to speak, but he silenced me with another kiss. In that moment, I surrendered to the chaos of my feelings, the thrill of the unknown. I knew I was stepping into dangerous territory, 
but I was drawn to him in a way I couldn't explain. I was teetering on the edge, and for the first time in ages, it felt exhilarating. I never expected that opening my front door would change everything. As I turned the handle, I was greeted by a sight that took my breath away. There stood Jake, my muscular neighbor, with his tousled hair and a playful smile that made my heart race. I had seen him around, always busy with his workouts and yard work, but never had I imagined he would be standing on my doorstep. Hi, I was just wondering if you had any sugar, he said, his voice warm and inviting. For a split second, I stood there, frozen, my mind racing as I remembered David, my husband, who was somewhere in our home, oblivious to this unexpected encounter. Uh, sure, come in, I managed to say, stepping aside to let him enter. The air felt charged, almost electric, as he crossed the threshold. I quickly glanced back towards the living room, hoping David wouldn't come downstairs. Jake walked in, scanning the space with a casual ease that made me feel both nervous and excited. Nice place you have here, he remarked, his eyes lingering on the decor. I could feel his gaze on me, and it sent shivers down my spine. Thanks, I replied, trying to keep my voice steady. It's just a little something we put together. He stepped closer, and I felt the heat radiating off him. So, sugar? Is that all you have? He joked, a teasing smile on his lips. I laughed nervously, the sound echoing in the quiet room. I think I have some in the kitchen. Let me grab it for you. I turned to walk away, feeling his eyes following me. The kitchen was only a few steps away, yet it felt like a mile as I tried to calm the flurry of emotions stirring inside me. As I reached for the sugar, I felt a sudden urge to turn back and look at him. Our eyes met, and there was a moment of silence, a brief pause where I could almost hear my heart pounding in my chest. You know, I never get to see you around much. David keeps you busy? He asked, his tone light, but there was an undercurrent of curiosity. I hesitated, caught off guard by the question. Yeah, he works a lot, I replied, trying to keep my tone casual. But it's fine. I've got my things to do. Jake stepped closer again, leaning against the kitchen counter. Well, if you ever want to take a break, I'm just next door, he said, a hint of mischief in his voice. My heart raced at the suggestion. The idea was thrilling and terrifying all at once. Yeah, I might take you up on that, I said, forcing a smile. But as I stood there, the reality of my life flashed through my mind. David was good to me, loyal and caring. But lately, things had felt different. The spark between us had dimmed. I pushed the thought aside, feeling guilty for even considering it. Jake reached out his fingers brushing against my arm. You okay? He asked, concern etched on his face. I could see the genuine interest in his eyes, and it made my breath hitch. I'm fine, I replied, but I could feel the heat rising to my cheeks. There was something about him that made me feel alive, something I hadn't felt in a long time. Good, because I'm really enjoying our little chat, he said, his voice dropping to a softer tone. You're not like the other neighbors. You're intriguing. The compliment sent butterflies swirling in my stomach. I could feel the tension building, thick and palpable between us. I wanted to say something witty, to lighten the mood, but the weight of his gaze made it hard to think. What about you, Jake? You seem to have it all figured out, I said, trying to shift the focus away from myself. He chuckled, a deep, rich sound that sent shivers down my spine. Trust me, it's all an act. I'm just a guy who likes to lift weights and keep fit. Nothing special. I wasn't convinced. There was something magnetic about him, an allure that pulled me in closer. Maybe there's more to you than meets the eye, I teased, hoping to keep the playful banter going. Maybe there is, he replied, stepping even closer. And maybe you're the one who can help me discover it. The implications of his words hung in the air, 
and for a moment, I forgot about David completely. I imagined what it would be like to explore this attraction, this chemistry that was so undeniable. But that thought was quickly drowned by a wave of guilt. What are we doing here? I thought silently, my heart racing as the question echoed in my mind. The lines between right and wrong were blurring, and I was teetering on the edge of something I had never imagined I would consider. Do you want to sit down? I asked, trying to regain some semblance of control over the situation. We can talk more comfortably. Sure, he said, his eyes sparkling with mischief. As we moved to the living room, I felt a mix of excitement and anxiety. What was I getting myself into? I opened the door, expecting nothing more than the usual quiet of my afternoon. Instead, I was met with a sight that sent my heart racing. There stood Jake, my neighbor, his muscular frame filling the doorway. His dark hair fell slightly over his brow, and his blue eyes sparkled with mischief. I felt a rush of warmth wash over me, despite the chill of the autumn air behind him. Hey, I'm sorry to drop by unannounced, he said, his voice deep and smooth. I just thought I'd check in on you. Oh, um, hey, no, it's fine. Come in, I replied, stepping aside to let him in. My mind raced as I closed the door behind him, a reminder that David was just down the hall, engrossed in his work. As Jake stepped into my living room, the tension in the air was almost tangible. The space felt smaller with him there, and I could hardly concentrate on anything but the way his presence filled the room. How have you been? He asked, his gaze lingering on me. I've been okay, just the usual, I replied, forcing a smile. I felt a flicker of guilt as I thought of David, who was blissfully unaware of this encounter. David's been busy with work, as usual. Jake nodded, his expression softening. I get that. Sometimes it's hard to find time for, well, anything really. He hesitated for a moment, then added, You know, if you ever need someone to talk to, I'm around. I let out a nervous laugh, feeling the heat rise in my cheeks. Thanks, Jake. I appreciate that. It can get a bit lonely sometimes. We fell into an easy conversation, but I couldn't ignore the undercurrent of something more. Our eyes met frequently, and each glance sent a thrill through me. It was as if we were sharing a secret that only we understood. But then, he moved closer, his arm brushing against mine. It was a simple touch, yet it ignited a fire deep within me. I laughed again, this time more nervously. It's just... I've been cooped up for too long, I think. Maybe I should come over more often then, he suggested, his tone teasing. Maybe, I said softly, feeling a flutter of excitement. The thought of inviting him in, of letting him become a part of my life, was both thrilling and terrifying. The moment hung in the air, heavy with unspoken possibilities. I could feel my heart pounding as I weighed my options. Should I invite him in for a glass of water, just to prolong this moment? The thought of David's presence loomed over me, a silent reminder of the life I was supposed to uphold. Do you want some water? I blurted out, the words spilling from my lips before I could second-guess myself. I mean, it's nothing fancy, but... Sure, I'd love some, he replied, a smile breaking across his face. I led him to the kitchen, my pulse racing. As I filled a glass, I could feel his eyes on me, assessing, considering. I handed him the glass, our fingers brushing against each other. It was electric. I quickly averted my gaze, swallowing hard as memories of tender moments with David flashed through my mind. But those memories felt distant now, overshadowed by the chemistry that crackled between Jake and me. As we returned to the living room, I could feel the air thickening with unspoken tension. I sat down on the couch, and Jake took a seat across from me, his posture relaxed, but his eyes intense. You know, I didn't expect to find you home alone, he said, leaning forward slightly. Yeah, 
David had some plans tonight. He's always busy, I said, trying to keep my voice steady. The truth was, I didn't want to think about David right now. I was lost in the moment with Jake. Must be nice to have some time to yourself, he said, a hint of something deeper in his tone. I mean, I know how hard it can be to carve out personal time when you're in a relationship. I nodded, feeling the weight of his words. It can be. Sometimes I just wish things were... different, I admitted, my voice barely above a whisper. I couldn't believe I was saying this. Jake's gaze bore into mine, and I felt a rush of daring. Different how, he asked, his voice low and inviting. I hesitated, my heart pounding in my chest. I don't know, just... Sometimes I feel like I'm missing out on something, I said, my throat dry. I was surprised at how easy it was to share that thought with him. I get that, he replied, his voice dropping further. Life has a way of making us feel trapped in our own choices. The conversation flowed effortlessly, filled with moments of laughter and shared glances that lingered just a moment too long. I could feel the tension building, the air thick with anticipation. Then, without thinking, I leaned in slightly, feeling the magnetic pull between us. Jake, I... Before I could finish my thought, he reached out and lightly touched my arm. The warmth of his hand sent a jolt through me, and I felt the walls I had built around myself begin to crumble. You don't have to say anything, he murmured, his eyes locked onto mine. In that moment, the world outside faded away. It was just us, lost in a dangerous game that neither of us wanted to acknowledge fully. The question hung in the air, unspoken, but it was clear we were both thinking it. What were we doing here? I remember the day vividly. It was a quiet afternoon when I decided to answer the door, completely unaware of the surprise that awaited me. As I turned the handle... I felt a flutter of nervousness in my stomach. The moment I swung the door open, I was met with Jake, my muscular neighbor, standing there with that charming grin of his. I couldn't help but take a moment to admire the way the sunlight caught the contours of his strong jawline and the way his shirt clung to his broad shoulders. Hey there, he said, his voice deep and inviting. I was just wondering if you'd like to borrow some sugar. I chuckled nervously, a mix of surprise and thrill coursing through me. Sure, come in. I think I have some in the kitchen. As he stepped inside, I felt a rush of tension in the air. I had always been friendly with Jake, but this was different. There was something electric about our interaction. I could feel my heart racing as we walked towards the kitchen, and it was impossible to ignore the way his presence filled the room. Thanks, he replied glancing around my home. You have a lovely place. I smiled, but my mind was racing. I could hear David, my husband, in the back of my mind. He was at home, probably engrossed in a game or a movie. The thought of him made my heart sink for a moment. What are we doing here? I wondered. I was suddenly acutely aware that I was alone with Jake, and it stirred a mix of excitement and guilt within me. We chatted casually as I fumbled through the cabinets for the sugar. Jake leaned against the counter, his eyes never leaving mine. There were moments when our gazes locked, and I felt a shiver run down my spine. The way he looked at me made me forget all about David and the life we had built together. I've seen you out in the garden, Jake said, breaking the silence. You really have a knack for it. The flowers look amazing. Thank you. I replied, trying to sound modest. It's just a hobby. He stepped a little closer, and I could smell his cologne, a mix of fresh and woodsy that sent my heart racing. Well, you make it look effortless, he said, his voice dropping to a more intimate tone. Just then, he reached out and lightly touched my arm, and I felt sparks ignite at the point of contact. I tried to laugh off the intensity of the moment, but a nervous giggle escaped my lips. You're too kind, I managed to say, 
my cheeks flushing. We continued to talk, the conversation flowing easily between us, but the air was thick with an unspoken tension. I could feel the heat radiating from him, and every accidental brush of our skin sent waves of electricity through me. There was a part of me that desperately wanted to invite him in for a drink, to prolong this moment. Would you like a glass of water? I asked impulsively. Yeah, that sounds great, he replied, his eyes sparkling with interest. As I turned to fill a glass, I couldn't help but feel the weight of my decision. I knew I was crossing a line, but the intimacy of the moment felt intoxicating. The familiar memories of love shared with David began to fade into the background. I was lost in the chemistry between Jake and me, as if the world outside had disappeared entirely. I handed him the glass, and our fingers brushed again. He took a sip, and I watched him, entranced by the way he moved. The laughter came easily now, and we shared stories about our lives. Each word drew us closer, and the room felt smaller and more intimate. You have a beautiful laugh, he said, leaning in a bit closer. Thanks, I replied, feeling my heart race. I guess it's just a habit. Then, without warning, he leaned in and brushed his lips against mine. It was unexpected, and for a brief moment, all thought ceased. My heart skipped a beat, and I was flooded with a mix of shock and exhilaration. I could feel the warmth of his body so close to mine, and it felt so wrong, yet so right at the same time. Wow, I whispered, pulling back slightly, my breath shaky. I'm sorry, he said, his voice low and filled with desire. I shouldn't have done that. But I could see the hunger in his eyes, and it mirrored my own. I was caught in a whirlwind of emotions, guilt, and excitement clashing within me. No, I said softly. I mean, it's okay. As the words slipped from my lips, I realized I had willingly stepped into a dangerous game, one that could shatter everything I had ever known. Yet, in that moment, all I could think about was the way he made me feel, alive, desired, and utterly free. I opened the door, expecting to see the usual mundane sights of my quiet street, but instead, I was greeted by Jake, my muscular neighbor. He stood there, a disarming smile on his lips, his dark hair slightly tousled. For a moment, I was frozen, caught off guard by his presence. I could feel my heart race as I took in his broad shoulders and the way his fitted t-shirt clung to him. Hey, I was just passing by and thought I'd say hello, he said, his voice warm and inviting. Hi, Jake, I replied, trying to steady my breath. I glanced briefly back into the house where David, my husband, was probably watching TV, oblivious to this unexpected encounter. The tension hung in the air, thick and undeniable. Is now a good time? Jake asked, taking a step closer. My mind raced, and I felt a flutter in my stomach. What were we doing here? I felt a pang of guilt, a reminder of David and our life together, but there was something magnetic about Jake that pulled me in. Um, sure, come in, I said, my voice almost a whisper. As I stepped aside to let him in, I couldn't shake the feeling that this was a decision I might regret. Jake stepped into my living room, and I could feel his presence filling the space, making it feel smaller and yet somehow more alive. We stood there for a moment, exchanging shy glances. I could sense his eyes on me, and it sent a thrill through my body. So, how's life treating you? He asked, breaking the silence. It's good, just the usual, I replied, trying to keep my tone casual. David is at home, just relaxing after work. Sounds nice, Jake said, leaning against the wall, his arms crossed casually. I couldn't help but notice how his biceps flexed slightly with the movement. My heart raced again, and I wondered what it would feel like to touch him. We talked about mundane things, the weather, the neighborhood, and our jobs. But beneath the surface, I could feel the tension building. 
Our eyes met more often, and each time sent sparks flying between us. There was a moment when Jake touched my arm lightly, just a brush of his fingertips. I felt a jolt of electricity shoot through me, igniting a fire I didn't know I had. I let out a nervous laugh, and he chuckled in return, the sound rich and infectious. Why do I feel like there's more to this conversation than just small talk? He asked, a teasing glint in his eyes. I swallowed hard, my body betraying me. Maybe there is, I admitted, my heart racing. The words hung between us, heavy with meaning. The tension was palpable, and I could feel the unspoken questions lingering in the air. Should I invite him in deeper? Should I risk it? I could hear David's laughter in the other room, and suddenly I felt torn. Would you like a glass of water? I blurted out, surprising even myself. It was a silly invitation, but I felt an overwhelming urge to keep him here, to explore whatever this was between us. Sure, I'd love that, he replied, a smile spreading across his face. As I turned to head to the kitchen, I could feel his gaze on me, and it sent shivers down my spine. I poured the water, my mind racing. I was supposed to be loyal, supposed to be committed to David. Yet, as I returned to the living room, I felt a pull towards Jake that I couldn't ignore. Here you go, I said, handing him the glass. He took a sip, his eyes never leaving mine. I could see the way he was studying me, as if trying to read my thoughts. Thanks. I needed that, he said, setting the glass down. You know, it's nice to finally talk to you. I've always thought you were... intriguing. Intriguing. The word hung in the air, and I felt a blush creep up my cheeks. What do you mean by that? I asked, feeling bold despite the anxiety bubbling inside me. I don't know. He shrugged, his gaze unwavering. You just have this aura about you, like there's more than meets the eye. I chuckled nervously, the heat rising in my face. I'm just a regular person, really. Yeah, but there's something special about you, he insisted, stepping a little closer. My heart raced as I felt the heat radiating off him. I, I started, but the words caught in my throat. I could feel the pull between us intensifying, and I knew I was teetering on the edge of something dangerous. Suddenly, he leaned in, his lips brushing against my ear. Can I be honest with you? I nodded, breathless, my heart pounding in my chest. I've wanted to kiss you since the moment I saw you, he whispered, his breath warm against my skin. I felt a wave of heat wash over me, and without thinking, I leaned in closer, our lips met in a soft, tentative kiss that quickly ignited into something more passionate. I felt a rush of adrenaline, excitement, and fear all at once. This was wrong. This was thrilling. I was kissing my neighbor while my husband was just a room away. But in that moment, all that mattered was the warmth of Jake's body against mine and the intoxicating taste of his lips. As we pulled away, Breathless and wide-eyed, I knew I had crossed a line, but I couldn't bring myself to step back. I wanted more. I wanted to explore this connection, this undeniable chemistry that had ignited between us. Wow, I breathed, trying to catch my breath. Wow, indeed, Jake replied, a smirk on his face. I could see the hunger in his eyes, and it mirrored my own feelings. In that moment, I realized that I was willing to take the risk, to dive deeper into this forbidden connection. Whatever this was, it felt too good to let go. And as I stood there, heart racing with excitement and fear, I couldn't help but wonder just how far I was willing to go. I woke up that morning, the sun casting a warm glow through the curtains. But there was a sense of unease stirring within me. Today would be just like any other day. Or so I thought. As I moved through my morning routine, I pushed aside the nagging feeling that something was about to change. My husband, David, 
was still fast asleep, his soft breathing a comforting sound. I tiptoed around the house, making sure not to disturb him, lost in my own thoughts. After a while, I decided to step outside for some fresh air. I opened the door and was met with an unexpected sight. There stood Jake, the muscular neighbor from across the street, leaning casually against his door, a charming smile plastered on his face. I felt a flutter in my stomach. Hey, I didn't expect to see you here, I said, trying to sound nonchalant. Thought I'd come over and say hi. We haven't had a chance to chat properly, he replied, his voice deep and inviting. I could feel the tension crackle in the air between us, a strange mix of excitement and apprehension. As we talked, I felt a strange pull towards him. His light laughter filled the space, and I couldn't help but smile back. It was easy to lose myself in conversation, but in the back of my mind, I couldn't shake the thought of David, who was still lying in our bed. What was I doing here, standing in front of Jake? The question lingered between us, unspoken but palpable. Nice weather today, isn't it? I said, trying to keep the conversation light, though I could feel my heart racing. Yeah, it is. You know, I've always thought you had the most beautiful garden, Jake complimented, his eyes locking onto mine. I felt a blush creeping up my cheeks. Thank you. I love spending time out there, I replied, wishing I could pull my gaze away. But I was entranced by the way he looked at me. It felt as though we were sharing a secret, a moment just for us. The conversation flowed, filled with casual banter, but the undercurrent of something more was unmistakable. I caught him glancing at my lips, and a shiver ran down my spine. It was a simple touch, a light brush of his fingers against my arm, but it sent a rush of electricity through me. Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you, he said, his voice a low murmur, and I could see the playful glint in his eyes. It's fine, I laughed nervously the sound echoing in the stillness of the morning. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We shared a laugh, but it felt different, charged. I could sense the heat rising between us, and I was torn between the thrill of the moment and the loyalty I felt towards David. A part of me wanted to invite Jake in, to explore whatever it was that was brewing between us. But another part whispered caution, do you want a glass of water? I found myself asking impulsively, surprising even myself. As soon as the words left my mouth, I felt a rush of exhilaration mixed with fear. I'd love one, he replied, his eyes sparkling with mischief. I stepped back, letting him in, my heart pounding in my chest. The air in the room felt thick with unspoken words and possibilities. As I filled a glass with water, I glanced over at him. He was leaning against the wall, watching me with an intensity that made my breath hitch. Your place is really nice, he observed, taking a sip of the water. Thanks, I said, feeling a warmth spread through me. I try to keep it cozy. Our conversation continued, but my mind was racing. Memories of tender moments with David flickered through my mind, but they felt distant fading with each passing second. The chemistry between Jake and me was undeniable, a force pulling us closer despite the weight of my marital vows. Then it happened. One moment we were talking about mundane things, and the next, Jake leaned in, brushing his lips against mine. It was unexpected, electric, and I felt my entire body respond. The shock of it was quickly replaced by a surge of excitement, but guilt gnawed at the edges of my consciousness. I pulled back slightly, breathless. What was that? I whispered, my heart racing. Just testing the waters, he said with a grin. But his eyes held a seriousness that made my pulse quicken. I couldn't deny the thrill of it, the way my body seemed to crave more. But the image of David loomed large in my thoughts. I didn't know how to reconcile the two parts of my life. I shouldn't. I started, but Jake interrupted me, 
his voice low and enticing. Just live in the moment, forget everything else for a while. And in that moment, I found myself wanting to surrender, to dive headfirst into this whirlwind of emotions. The world outside felt so far away, and all that mattered was the magnetic pull between us. I could feel the weight of my decisions pressing down on me, but in the haze of desire, I chose to ignore it. The reality of my life, of David and our commitments, faded into the background. All that remained was Jake and the intoxicating thrill of the unknown. I'm not sure how I got here. It's a thought that flits through my mind like a restless butterfly, landing and taking off before I can grasp it. Just a few days ago, I was happily married to David, my husband of five years, my partner in everything. And now, standing in my living room, I find myself face to face with Jake, the muscular and captivating neighbor who lives next door. When I opened the door, part of me expected a routine visit, perhaps to discuss the fence that needed fixing, or to share a friendly chat over the hedge. But instead, there he stood, his dark hair tousled, a casual t-shirt clinging to his broad shoulders, and those piercing blue eyes that seemed to see right through me. My heart raced, and for a moment, I forgot why I had opened the door in the first place. Hey, he said, his voice smooth and inviting. I just thought I'd check in and see how you're doing. Um, I'm good, I stammered, my voice barely above a whisper. The tension in the air was palpable, thick enough to slice with a knife. What was I doing? I was married, and yet here I was, feeling something stir within me that I had not felt in a long time. Jake stepped inside when I hesitated too long, his presence filling the room with an energy that was both thrilling and terrifying. I could hear the faint hum of the television in the background, where David was likely enjoying his usual afternoon show, oblivious to the storm brewing right under his nose. So, David's home? Jake asked, glancing around the room, his expression casual but his eyes searching. Yes, he's just... In the other room, I replied, feeling a rush of guilt wash over me. I could almost hear the silent question hanging in the air. What are we doing here? It felt wrong, yet undeniably right at the same time. We stood there, the space between us charged with an unspoken connection. I could feel my cheeks heat up as I tried to focus on the conversation, but my mind kept wandering. Jake was charming and I found myself drawn to him in a way that I had not expected. You know, I've always thought you had the best taste in decor, he said with a playful grin, gesturing to the art on the walls. I smiled, flattered, but the compliment felt like a double-edged sword. Thank you. I've always enjoyed making our home comfortable. My words felt hollow, as if the very act of acknowledging my home was a betrayal to David. As we chatted, I noticed the way Jake's gaze lingered on me, making my stomach flutter. I caught myself stealing glances at him too, the way his muscles tensed slightly when he laughed, the way his lips curled into that devil-may-care smile. Then, as if the moment had been scripted, he reached out and brushed his fingers against my arm. The touch was light, but it sent a jolt of electricity through me, igniting something I had long buried. Sorry, I didn't mean to, he began, his voice trailing off as I turned to meet his eyes. No, it's fine, I breathed, my heart racing. I just... I hesitated, the words caught in my throat. Should I invite him in further? Should I let this moment unfold? A nervous laugh escaped my lips, breaking the tension. Would you like a glass of water? The question surprised me as much as it surprised him, but I felt a pull to keep him there, to explore this strange, exhilarating connection. I'd love one, he said, his smile widening, and it felt like we were sharing a secret that only we knew. As I moved to the kitchen, I could feel his gaze on me, and I couldn't help but wonder what David would think if he walked in right now. The thought flickered through my mind, but I pushed it aside, I was simply being friendly, right? 
just checking on a neighbor. But as I poured the water, I realized the air between us was thickening, wrapping around us like a cocoon. When I returned, Jake was leaning against the wall, a relaxed yet confident posture that made my heart race. Thanks, he said, taking the glass from my hand, our fingers brushing against each other. The contact was electric, and I fought the urge to pull away. Instead, I found myself standing closer, drawn into his orbit. Our conversation flowed easily, the laughter spilling out like water over rocks, smoothing out the edges of my doubts. But with every shared glance and lingering touch, I felt the weight of my reality pressing down on me. David was home, and here I was, flirting with danger. As Jake leaned in a little closer, I could feel his breath on my skin, warm and inviting. You have a beautiful smile, he said softly, and I felt my heart skip. Thank you, I managed, my voice barely above a whisper. In the back of my mind, David's face flickered, a haunting reminder of what I was risking. But in that moment, all I could think about was Jake. The way he looked at me, the way he made me feel alive. It was intoxicating, and I was lost in it, willingly surrendering to the thrill of the moment. What was I doing? I didn't know. But I had this feeling, a fluttering sensation in my stomach, that told me I was on the edge of something I had never experienced before. And as I stood there, staring into Jake's eyes, I realized that I didn't want it to end. 